everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at iPadOS 18 on one of the oldest supported iPads on iPadOS 18, which is the iPad 8 generation. And there's a lot of cool stuff and a lot of cool improvements inside of this particular iPad in this particular software update. So if we go and take a look, you can see that this update size was about, what was it? 6.17 gigabytes on this particular iPad, which is a pretty good size. I mean, I love iPad updates and this thing definitely got a lot of cool stuff inside of this particular update for sure. Now, first of all, we have the capability now of moving our applications anywhere on the display. So if we want to, we can hold down on an app and move it wherever we want to. And I will tell you, even on the iPad 8, it's performing fairly well. One of the biggest complaints though that I had was with the control center, we'll talk about it in a second. But in the top left corner, you can also click edit, click customize, and you can go ahead and tint any of these app colors as well, which is another very, very cool thing. So that's something I actually like seeing a lot in this particular update. You can click light right here and kind of get out of it from here for the most part. Now the control center also got some big updates as well. So if you scroll down in the top right corner, you can basically see that we have these new widgets that we can modify and move them around, clicking on the plus icon right up here. We can move around all of this stuff. So we can move app icons. We can add app icon or control center icons right here, which is really cool. And this is another really awesome thing that's going on for this particular thing. You can also even click the power button right up there in the top right to quickly power down your particular iPad. Now on top of that, we now have the capability of locking applications. So you can go through and hold down on an app and you can lock an app. You can touch ID, passcode it, or you know face ID lock it, which is another very cool thing. And messages got some really big updates here as well. We now have the capability of basically having RCS message support. We have these new like text icons that are just like random like text you know, message effects, which is really cool. We now have the capability of scheduling messages and so many more tap tap back fixes and so many things across the board. It's actually a really cool update that Apple brought in there. On top of that, game mode is now coming for our iPads. Apple Maps got some updates, Wallet app got updates, the Journal app got updates as well. And the Photos app got a really big update as well. So there's a lot of changes within this you can kind of see. I don't know how I feel about it. I think it is okay. And those are kind of the main updates for the most part. I will tell you, even on the, one of the oldest iPads like the iPad 8th generation, this update is performing very, very decently. It's not a perfect update by any means, but I do think Apple did a really good job with this particular update. And even on an old iPad like this one, it's still performing fairly well. I would still not recommend installing it just yet. I'd recommend waiting. But I do think on an iPad like the iPad 8th generation, it isn't terrible. I haven't really felt it overheating. And if I had to use it on an everyday basis, I'd probably be okay with it. But again, you'll probably want to wait until it officially comes out. But the thing I like about iPadOS updates, they seem more stable overall than iOS updates. And I think if your iPad stopped working, that wouldn't be as catastrophic of a thing if like your iPhone wasn't working. So if you want to mess around with it, you can, but I'd probably recommend waiting until iPadOS 18 officially comes out. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.